Yeah, welcome back to the show. This is DH Today. I'm Sewami here. I'm joined in the studios by a religious-based faith organization, Israel United for Christ. And they're coming all the way from the United States. They'll be telling us what the Israel United for Christ is all about. And I'm sure that you've seen them somewhere. They will answer all the questions that you you have. So I'm joined by Deacon Abayel. Yes, ma'am. And Deacon Malachi. Yes, ma'am. And Captain Isaac, all yes, from the Israel so United uh, for Christ. Yes. Welcome to Ghana and thank welcome you, to the you. show. Thank you. So w what do you do, Israel United for Christ? Well, our job, our mission is to wake up the diaspora, the 12 tribes of the children of Israel who've been scattered all over the earth. Our job is to teach the commandments of God and faith in Christ to God's chosen people. Okay. And how, how are you doing that, Deacon uh, Malachi? Well, we, we travel all over the world. We have school all over the world right now. Uh, you have schools? Yeah, we have churches all churches. over the world. Okay. Yes. Here, here in our Ghana. We have one two school. We have one in Accra. We also have one in Kamasi. But uh, we have a lot of people here, by the way. Right. I, I don't know if you ever heard of us, but we actually have a lot of people here. Okay. And where do you meet? Where do we meet? We meet every Saturday uh, at, the uh, cultural at, the, at the cultural center. Uh, yes, we, we hold in our Sabbath class. Sabbath is from uh, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Okay. Mm -hmm. when, when, when was this uh, organization established? Is it a church? Yes, ma'am, yes. it is a church. We was established in the year 2003 by Bishop Nathaniel. And our main concentration is to go out and teach the diaspora of our people. When you read the scriptures, our people were sent into slavery because we broke God's laws. Let me read a scripture and the deacons are going to expound okay. on it. Um, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6. This is the King James Version Bible, okay. by the way. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6 says, and he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. So what we're seeing here is there's a hidden people here in Ghana. And when you understand our history and all that we've been through, the turmoil, the treacherous things that happened way back in the 1600s when we went into slavery by way of slave ships, those people that were taking into slavery, mm -hmm. those were the children of Israel. Those are the children of Israel, even until this day. And there's okay. a remnant that's left here in Ghana. Okay. Deacon uh, Malachi, can you, ex you know, expand more on the doctrines that you teach? How different is it from the charismatic churches? Okay. It's a, good, it's a, it's a, it's a very good question. Give me, give me uh, John 7. Give John, me John 7. 7. John 7. You know what I want. Mm -hmm. You shall know the truth. And then go to... Uh, I'm going to answer your question with two scriptures. Okay. Give me John 7. You shall know the truth. And then go to uh, Revelation 14. Revelation okay, 1. Can Revelation go to 1. Revelation 14. I'll open John... John 7 what, please? John 7... Uh, what is that? 25? John 832. No, 732. John 732. John okay, 7, so John 732 says the Pharisees. 832 or 732? 832. No, go to 832. John right. chapter 8, verse 32. Now, I want you to hear this. This is what Christ said. Right. And ye shall know the truth, mm -hmm. and the truth shall make you free. Now, Jesus Christ said, you shall know the truth. Now, the question you got to ask yourself is, what is the truth? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you the truth. Go to Revelation 1, and I want you to read verse 1 first. Mm -hmm. Revelation, this is what Jesus Christ said. Read, Re Revelation read. chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, the word revelation means to reveal. Mm -hmm. The revealing of Jesus Christ. What is it today? Because the question you actually said, what is the doctrine? There's a big difference what the church is teaching today and what we believe in. Right. The church is actually not teaching the Bible today at all. And I'm going to prove that to you. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Things that must shortly come to pass. So Jesus revealed to John things that's going to happen in the future. Right? Jump to verse. I'm going to show you something in there. Jesus revealed to John. Church is not teaching today. Jump to verse. What is that? 14. You verse, want to start at, verse 14. Start at 14. His head and his hairs were well, white like wool. Now remember, John walked with Christ. So if you walk with me, you see me, you're going to recognize me, right? right. Mm -hmm. John walked with Christ. 
John said his hair what? what? His head and his hairs were white like wool. John said Jesus Christ's hair and his beard were all white. Read as like white. Wool. As when you white look at, as, hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. When you look at wool, who got woolly hair? Woolly texture. Woolly texture. Us, we got woolly texture. When you look at the other people, for example, here in Ghana, I started give your guys the so-called white man as Jesus. No, that's not Jesus. The Jesus that they give your guys in Ghana, that's not the with Jesus in the Bible. So that right there, that's the number one thing is they're not, the church is not teaching the word Jesus. Because the word Jesus is actually black. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because he drank a lot of wine. Read. Remember Jesus' first miracle was what? Turn water into wine. Read. And his feet. So now John look at Jesus' feet. When you look at your feet, your feet is the same colors of your body, right? Now John look at the man who's talking to him, his feet. What did John saw? And his feet like unto fine brass. Brass. What is the color of brass? Brass is brown. You see us, they call us black. We actually brown. We got different shade of brown. Right. Jesus Christ was a, is a brown man. John said when he caught his feet, he was brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Anything you burn on fire, what color it's become? Black. John is telling you Jesus Christ is a very, very dark-skinned man. So the men they give you guys today in Ghana here is not the way of Christ. Right. So now the question is, where do they find that picture? Who come up with that, with that lie? That's the mystery of the Bible. Give me, uh, actually, uh, you want to expand on that? Yeah. yeah. So who's this, sir? This is the image that's been portrayed all throughout the continent of Africa. It's been portrayed all throughout Europe, mm. the Caribbean islands, America. All over the world. This is the devil that the Bible speaks of. I know it's hard for some black women at home. This is the devil. This is the devil. The word devil means deceiver. This is the devil. Right now, the black woman at home in Donna, her wig is spinning around her head. She can't <laughs> understand what's going on. The pastors are going crazy. We just read out of the Bible the depiction, the description of Jesus Christ. It's been written in the Bible all this time. How come the pastors in Ghana, Sarah, how come they have not been teaching our people this truth? In your schools, you have images of white Jesus. Where is it in the Bible? Right. Where is it in the Bible? It's nowhere written in the Bible. It's been so lies. That's the, so that's the doctrine that's that the doctrine. Israel united for, for Christ is, exactly. that's is, the Bible. is, 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 is teaching. Hey, get Jeremiah 17. Okay, we just have a couple of minutes to go, about two minutes. So no if problem. we can be quick about that, yeah. The point is, is that there's an, there was an agenda behind them creating this image and taking our true nationality away from us. Okay. We have been cut off and disconnected from who we really are. We're not African Americans. We're not black People, some people here in Ghana, they're, they're not of what the land calls them. They are the descendants of the children of Israel. We've right. been disconnected. Read that real quick. Just Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. So the, the whole purpose of why we're here is to bring us back to our true heritage, where we truly come from. We are the descendants of Jacob. Those people you read about in the Bible, they are... Your descend they are your people. They're your uh, descendants. We have to come back to who we are and keep God's commandments and faith in the son truly so that we can be restored to who we are and restored to that where we're supposed to be on earth. Okay. Wow. Very interesting. And where do you say you meet again? I'm sure there are people watching who will be interested At in the knowing cultural this center. The in Cultural Kumasi. Center in Kumasi Saturdays. They can come attend at 2.30, 2.45 p.m. onward. Every and Saturday. in Accra? Um, in Accra right now, we're establishing a location. We don't have right. a location yet. We meet in Kumasi as of right now. Okay. So and you, this this church was started in the United States. Yes, in two thousand three. In two thousand three. Uh huh. Okay. I, there's a question that I want to ask you, but it's out of what we are discussing here. Okay. And I I hope I don't know if you 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 mind. So I mean, we know that the culture here is different from the culture over there in okay. America, mm -hmm. right? And your, you, you say that we are all descendants of, um, of, of Israel, Israel yes, right? What, what, what is your take as members of the Israel United in Christ? What is your take on homosexuality and Christianity? Our Quickly. take is what the Bible says. When you get, the, get that real quick, Leviticus, what is it, 18? Everything that we believe, everything that we say is scriptural. 
God has not changed. There's no difference in what God said back then than how we're supposed to be living now. This is the foundation of our belief that we got to come back to doing what God said to do. You got that? Yes, sir. This is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Three. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. That act is an abominable act. God hates that. God hates the act of homosexuality. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death. So there's judgment, which God is going to bring that judgment against those that have gone against his word, which homosexuality isn't the only thing, fornication, many different things. But that is a key element to us coming back to who we are and keeping God's commandment is keep doing what he said to do. Churches have taken us away from that. He's taken us away from the basis of the Bible. We got to come back. But you, 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 you are in a place where it is accepted right. to be homosexuals. Do you accept such people? Well, it's the same thing as people who commit adultery, people who lay with more than one woman. It's all sin, and you have to change. So it's not accepting the act. It's the person needs to stop that and repent and keep God's commandments. It's the same for everyone. Does the difference between under the homosexual law and Christ. The difference is what he just read in Leviticus. The difference is if back then, if they commit that act, they, they, we have to kill them. That's back then. The difference is now, now under Christ, they can repent. Right. But when you repent, repentance means to change. Mm -hmm. So when you repent is if you was in that lifestyle, you ain't do it no more. That's what repentance is. Mm -hmm. So do we accept it? No, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. We're teaching for them to repent. There is repentance because Jesus Christ said, all manner of sin are forgiven. So they can repent. That's the difference between back then and today. Okay. And, the, and the biggest misconception from the church is that Jesus came to do away and allow things like homosexuality, fornication, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And that's not in the Bible. Nowhere did Jesus Christ say it's okay now. The same thing that was yesterday is for today. I see. So in your church, the Israel United in Christ, is it only blacks that attend it? The Israelites. So what you would call today um, uh, people from the West Indies, Puerto Ricans, Haitians, Dominicans, all of the di diaspora, those scattered through Africa, through Europe, those people that were of the slave trade, descendants of the slave trade, they are the ones that are welcome. Oh, right. So that's your target. Right. Descendants of slave trade. Yes, the children of Israel. Oh. Children of Israel. Get I the, can read that for you. Yeah, Let me read that. that for you so real quick. So slave trade um, is in the Bible, and the descendants are from, uh, uh, they are descendants of Israel. Yeah, that's in the Bible. Okay. Let me read something for you real quick. Please do. All right, we're going to go to the words of Jesus Christ, okay? We're going to Matthew 15, verse 24, then we're going to go to another one after that. Christ said, but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who sent Christ? God sent Christ. The Father sent Christ. Christ said, I was only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The lost sheep of the house of Israel today is the so-called Negroes, the so-called Hispanic, the so-called Native American Indian. And the people, the, 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 the Jasper that scattered here in the country of Ghana, those are our targets. Those are the ones that God sent us to wake up. There's no difference between the prophets and us. We are the, we are the modern the prophet today. Our job is to wake up the same way the prophets in the Bible was waking up our people. Our job is to go all over, wake up the people. Same thing the Apostle Paul was doing. We're not doing anything different. The same people Jesus was sent for, like we read there, is the same people we were sent for. That's the mission. Now you got to ask yourself, sir, why were they lost? Loss of identity, like we read earlier in Jeremiah 17. Also, we were scattered amongst the nations. I'm going to read this for you. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So now, if you look at the map, you're looking at the old Egypt and Israel, you can walk from Israel to Egypt. So what is he talking about? He's not talking about the old Egypt. He's actually talking about America. Mm. How do we get to America? We get into America, what? Two slave cargo ship. We get to Haiti, what? Two slave cargo ship. Jamaica slave cargo ship is the same way. It's the same thing. So that's actually is not talking about the old Egypt. That's talking about actually the modern day America today. Go ahead. Yes, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. So he said we're not going to see our homeland again. What is our homeland? Our homeland is not Ghana. Our homeland is not Haiti. It's not Jamaica. Our homeland is Israel. That's the land God gave to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.
Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. He said we're not going to see it no more again. So what is that saying? He said we're not going to see it again. So the question you got to ask yourself now, who is these people over there right now in Israel? If they are not the true Israelite, if they're not the true God of people, who are they? I see. Because he said we're not going to see our, our homeland again. So that's the question you got to ask yourself. Who are these people over there? Okay. There's one other thing that uh -huh. a lot of churches here uh, push, which is money, you know, and Christianity. I, I want to know what, what, where you stand on that. Since you say everything that you say is, is in the Bible, what, 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 what does the scripture say about... Because, I mean, I don't know if you've been following it. You've been following what's happening in Africa. A lot of the pastors oh, are all about been? money. Extortion of money from oh, yeah. the people. What, what does the scripture say? And how different is your doctrine? Or what does your doctrine say about money and Christianity? Oh, we've yeah. been following. Everything that we speak is from the Bible. Get Ezekiel 22, I believe it's 26. Start there. Yes, sir. Scripture says if a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. Our job isn't to live off the people. Our job is to feed the people, to help the people, to teach the Bible, the word of God. You have a lot of people who have made merchandise of the congregants, the members, and they are becoming rich and living living well while everyone else is suffering. That is not how we're supposed to be or to conduct ourselves. Read that. This is Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Read. And it says, Her priests have violated my law and have mm -hmm. profaned mine holy things. This is talking about your modern day pastors today. They are not teaching like you, you brought up the uh, homosexuality. Well, the priest won't teach on homosexuality because when you do that, people say, well, I don't want to be a part of your church then. Not realizing what God says is what you have to teach. So the priests have violated the laws of God and they've accepted certain things and allowed certain things to go on. Go ahead. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Read. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean Come on. and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths and I am profaned among them. They have hid their eyes from God's Sabbaths. On the Sabbath day, there are certain laws you have to follow. No buying or selling, cooking or cleaning, right? They don't teach that type of stuff because when you do that, the people and their money, they leave. But watch this. Read on. This is verse 27. Read. Her princes in the midst thereof are like wolves, ravening the prey mm -hmm. to shed blood. To shed blood. And to destroy souls. Because through this doctrine that Christianity, so-called Christianity is teaching, is destroying the souls of our people because they're not coming to repentance. Read. And to destroy souls to get dis honest game that is money they are doing it all for money for the love of money they're doing it so that they the people would rather hear you can do what you want and i'll pay you give you you know the tithing and things of that nature than change their lives that is not the doctrine that is not what god has set us to do our job is to feed the people tell the people who they are according to the bible and teach them this word Yes. Oh, so same. basically what he's saying in a nutshell, the next time, do you go to church? Sarah? Yes, I do. On Sunday? Yes. Okay. So when you go back to the church and your pastor asks you for 10% or 20% of tithing, give him a piece of lettuce, <laughs> give him some jollof rice. That's not in the Bible. Our tithing, tithing is tithing, not in the Bible. Tithing well, was my, never my pastor money. doesn't ask for tithes anyway. Well, that's good. Well, mm -hmm. all the tithing pastors, is not in the Bible. Tithing no. was never money. Tithing was it money. Tithing was the increase of your crops. Right. Let me get that for you. Um, Quickly, we have to go now. Mm -hmm. That's in Malachi. But is there is there a contact while he, he, he of tries to open that? If there are people who want to, you know, get in contact with you, how do they do that? Well, yes, we have a website. W oh, we have a website, www.israelunite.org. That's www israelunite.org um the phone number to our location here is 0207-442-316 also 0540-859-255 but okay. real quick but it's, in the, it's on the screens anyway yeah. so you can quickly grab it if you want to get in uh in touch with them yes quickly, yes please. so this is deuteronomy um chapter 14 verse 22 it says thou shalt truly tithe all the increase of thy seed that the field bringeth forth year by year. So what we did is we tied crops. And if it was too heavy for us to carry into Jerusalem, we would trade it in for money. But when we got to Jerusalem, we would buy back, buy back the crops and give it to the Levites as an offering. Right. I see. 
Thank you so much for coming on the show this Thank morning, you for having Deacon us. Abayel, uh, Deacon Malachi, and Captain Isaac. They're all from the Asia United in Christ. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And Thank you. All the best. I am Sewa Mia. Thank you so much for watching the show. Uh, we'll be back same time tomorrow. 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Once again, thank you for this award. But I will be back at 11.30 for the midday. But don't go away. Expressive is up next with Jackie and Bliss King.